Are you a newly promoted manager feeling overwhelmed and definitely underprepared? In this video, I'm going to share seven strategies that will give you the confidence and know-how to take your team to the next level. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help you become a more confident leader, and I do that with no nonsense sense, if that makes sense any sense. A lot of times when you're promoted suddenly from within the organization or an external hire as a manager, it can definitely be a shock to the system. But don't worry because I'm here with pragmatic advice and easy strategies that will help you kickstart your managerial career with excellence. So first things first, congratulations. You're a manager. This is big news. That means you've been promoted and you've been chosen among so many other applicants for this position. It's an exciting time, but it's also quite a big transition. You might be, you probably will be, feeling nervous, feeling unsure, and maybe even just, just a little bit intimidated. Don't worry because you can do this. You were chosen for a reason. And the company believes in you, your abilities to lead and to manage. You have a great opportunity right now to demonstrate your skills and to show that you're the right person for this job. Next thing's next. I need you to remember to acknowledge and to appreciate the other applicants who also applied for this position because it could get awkward you may be their boss right now. And if we are, and I assume you do, look to the future of how your workplace is going to operate, you want to take into consideration how they might be feeling, how they might just need a minute to adjust to your situation. Now, as you embark on this new journey, keep these killer strategies in mind and don't forget to celebrate your success along the way. With this exciting opportunity comes, <laughs> comes many challenges and obstacles that you'll need to navigate in order to succeed. One of the biggest hurdles to overcome is recognizing that, unfortunately, not all employees want you to thrive in your new role. Whether it's jealousy, it's fear of change, or some staff members may just push it back against your leadership. Don't let this discourage you. Instead, use it as motivation to prove them wrong. Not in an F you kind of way, but in a I told you I can do this kind of way. Utilize these strategies for new managers that you've learned to build trust, communication, and respect in your team. With persistence and dedication, you're going to be able to earn the trust and the loyalty of every member or almost every member of your organization even some of the naysayers. Now, as a new manager, you're gonna find yourself in a position where you're setting expectations for employees. That's part of being the boss. Now, when it comes to setting these expectations, it's important to remain reasonable and for you to leave room for accommodations. Why? Well, your employees, they're individuals with unique circumstances and needs. By taking these factors into account, you're showing that you value them as people, not just as workers, not just as cogs in the wheel. Not only will this improve morale and productivity, but it will also help you build a stronger team that will be willing to go above and beyond for you. As we move forward with the new role, remember that setting these expectations is just one of many strategies that you'll need to master, but it's one of the most important ones. So now that you're in charge, you have a lot of big decisions to make that are going to impact your team's success. One of the most important things that you can do as a new manager is to take feedback seriously. Your team members, they have valuable insights and perspectives that can help you make better informed decisions. So make sure you're listening carefully and objectively with what each person has to say. Even if you don't necessarily agree 
with what they're saying or with their feedback, it's important to acknowledge their concerns and to use this information to shape your management approach. Now, it's also important to remember that as a new manager, you're not alone. Your team, forget the naysayers, but your team in general is there to support you. And it's crucial to recognize their hard work and their dedication. Celebrating success often is one of the best ways to do this. Whether it's a small, somewhat insignificant achievement, or it's a major milestone, take the time to acknowledge and to commend your team. This not only shows your appreciation for their hard work, but it also motivates them to continue putting in effort towards future successes. And I mean, really, who doesn't love a pat on the back for a job well done? Now, this point specifically is for all new managers of what I'll call non-desk employees. I've got three game-changing ways that today's video sponsor, Connect Team, will revolutionize and save stress in your life. First off, let's talk about the direct impact on your bottom line. As we all know, business success is the ultimate goal and effective internal communication is the secret weapon. It creates a positive workplace culture. It boosts employee engagement and it enhances productivity and collaboration. Plus, it ensures that everyone is on the same page with your business goals and the business objectives. Next, let's tackle the ever-present challenge of managing change. Nobody likes change, but we still have to manage it. We all know that change is inevitable, but with Connect Team, you'll have the tools and understanding to navigate it seamlessly. The Connect Team platform empowers you as a manager to adapt quickly and efficiently, keeping your business, your team, ahead of the curve. And lastly, we'll address the time and resource management struggle. The struggle is real. Every business faces it. But with Connect Team, you'll triumph over it. Connect Team's innovative communication features streamline message delivery, task management, and daily operations. So you can literally say goodbye to time-wasting mistakes and wasted resources. And here's the thing, if you have 10 or less employees, Connect Team is absolutely free for you to use. So go in the description, grab the link and try it out today. Now, as a new manager, it can be easy to let the pressures get to you and for you to forget what it's like to be on the other side of the table. But let me tell you, the most effective leaders are those who lead by example. Be the kind of manager that you want to work for. Show your team that you're willing to get down in the trenches and work with them. Recognize and acknowledge their hard work and the dedication. Again, it's easy to forget that your team is actually made up of individuals who have unique needs and concerns. So take the time to get to know each team member and their strengths and their weaknesses just a little bit better. Above all, be approachable, be transparent, and be fair in your decision making. By implementing these killer strategies, you are on your way to being the kind of leader that your team admires and your, that your team respects. Now, being a manager, or specifically a new manager, can come with a range of what we'll call unexpected challenges. And let's fix that. In this video, I'm going to share 15 things that I really wish I knew before I started leadership. So get your coffee, and I'll see you there. Ciao.